Thank you very much, Bruce. Jake Seeley, RotoExperts.com, joins us with a recap of week one. So, Jake, Jaguars defense, Alex Smith, the Rams defense, a couple of the top performers. I'm willing to bet most people didn't have them atop their boards, but you did have one of them, Kareem Hunt. I did. Kareem Hunt is legitimate, just as is Dalvin Cook and Leonard Fournette. The rookie running backs, just with Ezekiel Elliott and Jordan Howard last year, are here to stay, and we haven't even seen one of them with Joe Mixon yet. So understand that these rookie running backs, running backs have the easiest transition from college. They're going to continue to produce this year. This wasn't a one-week wonder. Don't go looking to sell high on him. And that Jaguars defense, not yet. It's just one week, and nobody expected that, not even myself. And I was a fan of them this year. But this might be a defense to look out for in the future as like the Seahawks where you might be a little hesitant about starting your players against them. The running back that everyone is paying attention to, that is David Johnson, really the top back according to most experts, including yourself. And now he's going to be out a couple of months with a broken wrist. Where do fantasy players go from here? You try to find a trade. There's not much you can do. You're not going to go to the waiver wire to find a solution. You're not going to get the collection of running backs that they have and Voltron them together and get a running back that's as good as David Johnson. Nothing's as good as David Johnson except for Le'Veon Bell. And i got to tell you, that guy's not going to give you Le'Veon Bell who owns him. So you got to make some trades. You might have to bite the bullet on it and give up a little bit of value, but you're just not going to find a solution on the waiver wire. It's tough. This is fantasy, but at least it's early in the season with plenty of time to overcome. Tom Brady only 10 points week one, Seahawks only 10 points, but they did play Aaron Rodgers. Who were the players that you expected to do a little more that didn't quite live up to par? Unfortunately, a lot of them were here. Washington Redskins, you know, <laughs> they see more from Terrell Pryor and Jamison Crowder and Kirk Cousins. I think we'll see a little bit better this week, but you might have to wait until week three after the Rams. Brandon Marshall, once Odell Beckham was announced out, I expected at least a touchdown from him. He didn't even get his, last, his only catch in the game until the end of it. So there was a couple guys out there that disappointed. But don't overreact. It's just week one. I've seen a lot of people that want to drop these guys. Don't. Don't. It's one week, everybody. we got a couple of seconds left. Who are your big performers? For this week. Two of them. Ty Montgomery is going to do terrific against the Falcons. They give up a ton to receiving running backs, and Ty Montgomery stays out there for the entire game. Brandon Cook's revenge game mm -hmm. against the Patriots, back on that track where he does a lot of damage, and it's an angry Tom Brady going against one of the worst defenses in the league. He's going to go off. Jake Seeley, RotoExperts.com, joins us every week here with his fantasy takes, and you can also catch him Friday night, 1030 on Fox 43 for the Washington Huddle.